All right, let's get to episode two of Visions of Coleus. We are set up in this new kingdom to get intel to see which prince are we going to back. But remember, Luminous was naked in the beginning, you know, showing her gad and looking at some kind of like tube of like Hinata's in it, suits. Like she's using it. I don't really know. And apparently primordial demons do show up too. So pay attention. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, the princess. Bald. <laughs> Oh. Asran doesn't seem like a cocky asshole. Proof of what? Ring? Ring? Proof? Proof of what? Oh. What the fuck is Paolo doing? <laughs> what is the point of Paolo? We, we only need a Paolo to get us in here so we don't look fucking dubious. And now it's like, all right, so wait, go do everything. Fucking, this is what Paolo should be doing right now. But like, come on. Right? <laughs> you think Paolo can do this shit? Hell fucking no! That's why Soe is doing it! Great Phantom Thief, Satoru. Nah, I'd win. Benny could do it. Yeah, Asran looks like a good person. Yeah, where's Paolo doing? What's, where is he? He's shit talking us?! <laughs> <laughs> even everyone around, bro. Not even at our immediate table. Look, this guy's fucking embarrassed. This guy's fucking embarrassed, and everyone else is just like staring at this guy. Paolo, what the fuck? You went in there with the poison fucking lizard thing. You almost died. We saved your fucking ass, and you're still doing this shit. Oh, come on. What do you mean? We didn't even tell you to do it. Okay, he's the perfect spy. Yeah, we did give him that fucking staff too. And he's still shitting us, bro. The stupider Paolo is, the less people will suspect him, I guess. He's the perfect spy. Yes. Damn! <laughs> you don't even need to fucking break the lock. Here's the slime. Hey, careful now. Nice timing, go! So we left a clone there, like a slime body. <laughs> <laughs> Ranga's voice actor is so good every time. <laughs> Imagine an actual human person in the recording booth making those noises. Like, I would not be able to not laugh. I would just fucking die laughing every time. Imagine the guy just going... <laughs> he's not a king. He's just like a lord, right? Is he a king? No, he's just like a lord. Bald. Important guy. Oh! The important prince is here. Right, because we cured her eyesight, so surely he's here to thank us. Where's his nipple? Nipple's gone, bro. No nipple. Somebody fucking cut that nipple off. <laughs> Captures like the, the desert vibes? I don't know. I intended to assist our brother, the other prince, as minister of the military when he became king. Yet, you are making the play for the throne. He changed? How? I'm gonna assume Gustav did some shitty things three years ago, but at the end of the day, it was just malnourished him. This bitch just wasn't fucking eating. Okay. It's all planned. He suspects Southern? Of the Zenobi I thing with Gustav? Oh shit, we gotta save the king too. <laughs> wow. Oh, what? This the <laughs> so, only Gustav is allowed to see the king, and the king is fucking sick. Like, connect the fucking dots! Maybe it's Gustav making the king sick! And Gustav was also on behalf of Zenobia, like, come on! Like, come on, it's so obvious! <laughs> Souther is... Yeah. So, the idea here now is... Souther, the other princess, pr the other prince, is intentionally killing off the king 
the sister so he can make the play for the throne through Gustav. But he was naturally going to assume the throne because he felt insecure of the younger brother because Aslan has so much charisma, the people are winning him over. So he got desperate and tried to do this shit? I don't know. I don't know. それを重心である貴様らが不自然だと感じ明しているのだ。なぜ今まで黙っていたか不思議か。何我が敬愛すべき兄君までもグスタフの手に落ちていた。Oh, wait, maybe the prince is then also he changed. Gustav must have done something to make the prince change in terms of personality or mood or something. So it's basically Gustav just fucking everyone over. How did he even get to this position of power, bro? Gustav is just fucking puppeteering everything in this kingdom. Oh, I thought the implication here was that Gustav made Souther like this, but Souther is working with Gustav. And doing all this shit. It's either one of the or. Gustav gave him steroids, even though he was so strong. And when did Gustav arrive here? Three years ago, probably. Brother's charm? What is that? Unique skill charm? What? What is it? Vampires. Okay. Wait, wait. And who else is vampires? The the holy church people, right? Okay, there's a, there's a skill called charm, a technique used by vampires to charm people, to influence them to think that everything is going fine. Like, the, the Marquis is even like, why did I even never think about that? Lubedius! Church stuff! This is great! High rank vampires can face the sunlight. Ah! Uh? Zine blood. You think Gustav implanted Zine blood, whatever this is, to, you know, Souther, and then was reborn as a high ranking vampire. If you have a Zine blood, you can become a vampire? That's pretty cool. Zine blood? Right, because this, this kingdom of Coleus is important in the border, right? It's beside Ingracia and the, the Holy Empire. So if we get rid of them, it works in favor of the Western Holy Church. So Mao Valentine's plan. Hmm. Mao Valentine. Okay. <laughs> I don't roll that way! What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I got painted by that finboy! Yeah. Art? Destroy the charm. Okay, that was actually important. I thought that was just like a random scene of him being pissed off that he got baited. <laughs> he got charmed, but like, that was to basically get rid of the charm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> he come on, let me break that shit too. Hmm. That looks pretty cool. Interesting. We have a ring. The, the, the ring, right? Aslan's looking like a good person, but... Do you think that this is going too well? Hmm. I don't know. It feels like we're just believing everything in this thing, and everything seems a bit good, right? He's like a good guy. Seems like everything just makes sense, but what if Aslan is the main bad guy, bro? What if Aslan is a vampire? No, I don't know. I don't know. Things seem too easy. I don't want to eat it all up, but... Let's be cautious, right? Let's get our skits already. Let's get our tinfoil theories out, right? We get the tinfoil hat on. Let's be cautious here. So we don't know if the princess turned into vampire or not? That form. She already knows. You're such a bad liar. She just calls him Boomer? Yeah, what the fuck, old? Okay. 
やっぱり二人とも犯人だとは思えないな、うん、それに比べてドロドロしていて薄紫の闇のようコク彼女の剣能は本質を見抜く能力です OP ふむ俺をおじさまって呼んだのも俺の前世の姿が見えた How old were we back home? 30 something? Okay, that's what she's calling us out on. I don't know. 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 Gustav is acting on the king's orders. So now it's looking like the king is the ultimate evil guy and he's ordering Gustav to do shit to make sure that the king maintains all the power? Is this a similar situation where the king wants to hold on to power and, and, and it's going out of his way to like get rid of the princes? You know how like in Gate, the empire is, you know, killing off the great houses beneath them so he stays in power and makes everyone that could arise to the throne weaker? Is this a similar situation? Huh? Maybe it's just all Gustav and this is just an assumption? <laughs> Who's coming? Gustav? Ew! Ew! Bro, if he comes here and sniffs her hair. Huh? Sleep down. Sleep down. Piss sake, the king? Oh, she's still talking to us. Design blood. Oh, Jin Sama, stop calling us old man! Memories of the past? Just seeing her backstory. Now it's all bad. Kinda worried about what Gustav is doing. Oji sama, Oji sama. What? I'll get that little girl as well and make a living sacrifice of her. Now, not sure if he's talking specific about Zenobia. Oh, Rimuru. Oh, cause Rimuru was. <laughs> Yeah, the, the cross chasing Rimuru. Remember when uh the uh the Marquise's wife, you know, dressed Rimuru up and we're walking, we saw Clay Man. Nah, sorry. <laughs> Gustav, okay, okay. You wanna you want some smoke? Okay. Oh, I hope Rimuru takes a Gustav in that fucking cross dressing outfit, bro. Where's my primordial demons? <laughs> yeah, you old man. What is he? An old man or a little girl? What what is he, bro? What's going on, Benny? ゼノビア姫の考えでは国王の両王子の争いを止めることだ。それでいつ出向きますか。そんなに早く？ぜ。答え名グスタフがゼノビア姫に呪いをかけています。ああ、いいな。ええ。ブロウは、あ、あ、
I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can break out of this place, but what are we actually doing? Body double. Okay, the clone is there. Now we can do whatever we want. And we was like, we were locked up. What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, that's the guy we saw in the opening. Ah, uh, I was like, new character? But it's being literal. Bro's fucking John Smith now. <laughs> Whose voice actor is this? Straight up turn into John Smith. I mean, Soei already does this shit, but maybe Rimuru was like kind of jealous of how cool Soei always looked, right? In season one, didn't Rimuru always so like, God damn it. He's so hot and cool and so competent, bro. I kind of feel intimidated. So now he might want to actually fucking use like, you know, the same string stuff. And... Does, is this actually Rimuru before reincarnated? It's his face? No way. No way. Is it? John Satoru, bro. <laughs> this is John Satoru. Okay. Yeah, why would we tell you that? Satoru. Ri Satoru. Ri Satoru. Ri Satoru. He's got wings too. Cool, cool. Great Phantom Thief is a reference to a separate anime. Uh, what anime is that? I've never seen it, but it's it's the guy with like the the hat, right? And even in Kaguya-sama season two, ending didn't um didn't uh, uh Shirogane uh, fucking uh do that? Kaito, Kaito, right? Yeah, yeah. Season three, my bad. Yeah, but th this is the reference to it, right? Is it Lupin? Kaito's from Lupin. Never seen it. Should we watch the fucking movie or just anime? I don't know. But yeah, that's the, the great Phantom Thief reference. <laughs> Probably, yeah. We should have just... <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Paolo's fighting for Aslan? <laughs> he is. And he is. Talking huge. <laughs> Formerly barehanded until poisoned and saved through Rimuru Sama. I am now a staff master, Paolo, and I will take you on. Kakate <laughs> Goy. Paolo, no! He's dead. He's dead. Ain't no way Paolo surviving this. Oh my god. That was like a fucking six piece combo in a fraction of a second. Maybe? Diablo was straight up killed him, man. Yep. Are they gonna help or what? What are they gonna do? The marquee is new! So he was spying! <laughs> I got you again with the bluff! Yeah, you guys can't fucking fight him. Hellflame. No, we can't use Hellflame on them. We're just trying to help out right now, right? Hellflame. <laughs> no, no Hellflame. <laughs> Yo, Soe's actually getting roughed up. What the fuck? Yo! Soe's actually... Am I underestimating, you know, Barak? This, this, they did call him like Barak the Unrivaled or something, right? Yo, so he's actually getting roughed up. Then again, he's not using his, you know, usual strings, right? He could take him out easily if he wanted to, but that's not the goal here. We're not trying to kill him. <laughs> Are they wounds? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, look at Mr. Cool Guy over here. He's so fucking cool. It's just a Bunshin. Yeah, exactly. And here's the thing, bro. If I just watch it without trying to guess, where is the fun in that? You want me to fucking react? You want me to give a fuck? Never tell me to just watch or stop pausing. I'm going to pause even more. You might be new here, but if you just want me to just watch and just go, oh my god, wow, and give you a fucking 10-minute reaction, you can go watch tens of other fucking thousands of reactors out there, bro. I actually want to give a fuck, bro. <laughs> They just give up! Hellflame! 
cliffhanger. <laughs> What's Rimuru gonna say when we when we show up and Benimaru and Soe has pretty much just taken you know Aslan and Barak out? Rimuru's gonna be like, what the fuck? But at the end of the day, we're trying to like not make them go to war, right? So this is according to plan. We probably didn't. I mean, we didn't rough them up that much either, right? But this is kind of to show that you know. Soe and Benny, who are at this point in end of season one, pretty strong, right? Pretty strong. But the fact that Aslan and Barakan can be with them, pretty cool, right? Gives them more credit, right? So this episode was to give us more confirmation that it is all not Vesta, fucking Gustav's fault, right? I'm, I'm, I'm shitting on Vesta. It's all Gustav's fault and the king's fault. I thought that King was getting manipulated, but it seems like the king gave the order to Gustav to do this shit intentionally so that the princes could fight over each other so that they die. I don't know, to lessen one of the party's strengths so that he can maintain in power. This is usually how it's handled in like um, succession war where there's like an emperor, there's other stronger houses beneath them and you want to make sure that you stay in power. How do you do that? You make them fight amongst themselves. I'm not really sure who the real culprit is. Also, Luminous shows up sometimes and she just She's she just there. She's just like, why am I called here? Who even ordered Luminous to go out here? I thought Luminous was like the most highest rank in like the um the church. But it seems like she's kind of pissed off that someone like her has to do this shit. So it sounds like she was given an order by someone else. I don't know. I don't know. It, it was just very interesting how Luminous showed up and she was like, can't believe I gotta do this fucking shit. Like of all people, how did that one get involved? Wait a minute. Never mind. I missed out. I, I read this wrong, actually. What's going on? Of all people, how did that one get involved with this? So I think this is implying that Luminous is aware that Rimuru is here. So Luminous was aware of Rimuru's existence since season one. How did that one? Or this is not Rimuru. And maybe this is Primordial Demons, right? Because people are saying Primordial Demons show up in this OVA series. Right? So, like, maybe that one is primordial or something? I don't know. I'm trying to make some guesses, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.